El guatemalteco Rolman Valcárcel, quien fuera detenido en julio pasado por... It made headlines around the world. ...desde Richmond, Virginia. Across the country. Tonight, authorities in Richmond, Virginia, say it was a tip... A tip thwarted a planned mass shooting at Dogwood Dell's July 4th celebration. Two days after a gunman killed seven people and injured 48 others at a 4th of July parade outside Chicago. Where a subject who I am referring to as a hero citizen picked up the phone overheard a conversation that there was a mass shooting being planned here at our 4th of July celebration at the Dale. Then Richmond Police Chief Gerald Smith announces his officers had prevented the same fate at Richmond's Dogwood Dell Independence Day celebration with the arrests of non-U.S. citizens Julio Alvarado Dubon and Roman Alberto Belcarcel Ock. No, I'm innocent of everything the police accuse me of and what they say about me because there are lies about me and of Julio. These are things that never, ever in our lives have crossed our minds to do something like this, for which we have simply tried to be here in the United States, working hard and without harming anyone. Balcarcel has waited five months to say those words. He's talking exclusively to CBS 6 in an attempt to fully clear his name and character which he says was destroyed last summer when a co-worker, whom he considered a friend, called in a tip to police accusing him and his brother's father-in-law of planning a mass shooting. The only thing I would ask him is why he did it. I have never liked weapons. And then this, well, it's the accusation they made against me. Well, I feel that it was something serious. It was a great damage that they did to my life, and I feel like my life will not be the same a life that was about to change July 1st when Richmond police showed up at this Columbia Road residence, taking Alvarado Dubon into custody along with several guns. They arrested him and they left me at home. It's what I don't understand. But four days later, they'd arrest Balcarcel at work in Charlottesville. And both their names and faces would be shown in living rooms across the globe. Uh, a resident called in a tip saying that there were two individuals who were plotting a, a mass shooting on the 4th of July. The officers who actually took in multiple guns instead of counting multiple bodies. That was able to get two foreign nationals uh, who were uh, not, who were illegally here and serious manpower off the streets of the city of Richmond and removing the threat from our community. Well, that was happening. They were still wrongfully accusing me, which wasn't true. Like his fellow inmates at the Richmond jail who told Valcarcel they had family members who attended the 4th of July festivities at the Dell. Well, they just beat me and they left me there. And well, there were several of them and I couldn't defend myself. I tried to defend myself, but I couldn't. How hard has this been on your family? It is worse for my mother because they are the ones that suffer the most. She has always worried always asked about how I am. I tell them I'm fine. I cannot say what happened to me in Richmond, that they beat me and all. We'd soon learn the Dell was never named as a target, despite Smith's repeated assertions that it was. So you stand by Dogwood Dell, that was the, in was the intended target? Yes, I'm, I'm, let me make sure I'm clear about that, okay? H have I not said that before and said that now? and there was no evidence to charge either men with anything related to a mass shooting. Does the Commonwealth have information that either of these individuals were involved in something that could potentially have affected Dogwood Dell on the 4th of July where I've advised you that my children were present because I need to know that before I can determine whether or not I can hear anything else on this matter. What would be your statement to that, Mr. Seal? No. An emotional moment for Balcarcel, a father of four himself, who says he wanted the judge to know he wasn't capable of such a crime. Well, I wasn't that kind of person that he was judging. Like, he wasn't judging a terrorist who was going to commit a shooting. But he was guilty of entering this country illegally for the third time. He just served out a six-month sentence on a re-entry charge. Court documents show he first fled his native Guatemala for his and his family's safety because he had been severely beaten for rejecting offers to join organized crime. Are you afraid? 
Yes, yes. Well, we're all humans. We don't ask to be born, but we also don't want to die. Sometimes I've thought that I would rather be in prison, better knowing that I'm alive at least. I have food and everything. As long as it pleases God, I don't know what can happen outside. Yes, uh, maybe I can try in my country. Well, something better. I may arrive to stay for a couple days. They could kill me. I don't know what can happen. Before the world heard the name Roland Alberto Balcarcel Ock, he was making a living working long hours as an electrician. I ask God to put in their hearts and their minds to do what's right. That they give me the opportunity to stay here, since I am not a bad person for the United States. I am just a working man. Though he questions how he got here and why, Belcarcel says it's made him stronger in his faith. He says he does not hold grudges against anyone, but he does have a message for city leaders and police. May God bless you as he wishes and perhaps, as I have said, that as humans and as people, we all make mistakes. The only thing I can tell you is that perhaps to be able to accuse someone who is undocumented to start, find out things better for the people because it is not fair that they just accuse one just because one does not have the possibility of having papers here. Belcarcel was released on December 19th, but we have not been able to confirm his status. He says his family and kids have been harassed as a result of his arrest. He thinks his life will be forever changed. Much more on our website at WTVR.com. In the studio, Laura French, CBS 6 News.